hi friends it's precious welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video I posted a photograph on Instagram and YouTube weeks ago hinting at my latest project and after months of preparing and executing I am now ready to reveal it in today's video I'll be building my epidemdrum empire and I'll be taking you guys along with me every step of the way I was inspired to do this project because a few of my epidemdrum orchids were blooming inside the Brotona gallery and they looked so beautiful that I wanted or I decided to relocate them and to place them in a special area in my garden now years ago I had quite a collection of epidemdrum orchids if you ask me I probably had every color that you could think of but then most of them died because I kept moving them all over the garden and I guess they never liked that they never liked moving about the garden so most of them died but as I said before after few that I had left started to bloom recently I became excited and so I decided to re relocate them to a particular area in my garden and this area that I decided to put them surprisingly I had them growing there years ago and then I moved them to another area and as I said kept moving them around I decided to bring them back to that area but then I had some amaryllis growing there and I had to remove the amaryllis and prepare the area for the epidemdrum empire and I also created some unique planters for some of my epidemdrum orchids because I wanted to enhance some beauty to the space. When I had them there before, it was just the epidemdrum orchids. So I said, hey, I'm gonna, I decided to just build some unique planters. And I also recreated some ornaments and I built some ornaments as well to enhance the beauty of my epidemdrum empire and I should also tell you that guys you don't need to spend thousands of dollars to buy fancy ornaments you can use items that you have inside your home to add beauty to your outdoor space I won't keep you waiting any longer so come on let's get started with my epidemdrum empire Welcome back friends so this is where I'll be setting up my epidemdrum empire first let me put my little stool in place it's so convenient look at this guys and then you just open it like this and snap it into place and it's good to go all right you notice here I have some construction gravel I'm going to be using that as the flooring for the empire and I have some stands here. I love to elevate my plants because it gives a better effect. And in this video, I have some very unique planters that I'm going to be sharing with you. All right. First and foremost, I'm going to be spreading some of the gravel. But before I do that, there are some items that I need to put in place before I spread the gravel in the area. So I'm going to be putting those in right now and this is one of them I don't really want to waste the gravel so let me just get some of it out of the way I think I might need the rake and empty it in this area right. 
and I'm also going to be using this driftwood guys you see how this thing is huge but guess what I took it up all by myself and it was like half of a mile to get to my vehicle from the seashore with it and it was quite heavier back then because it has dried out some more since I brought it home so I can manage it quite easily now I think I should put some gravel here where I'm going to be placing the driftwood to preserve the bottom of it. So as I say, I put some, I place some gravel here because I want to preserve the bottom of the driftwood. I may need to secure it with I'm gonna use this quite firm another stone because I don't want anything to come tumbling down you know just like in the vanda bed with character where some stuff came the bricks I should say came tumbling down like the walls of Jericho don't want that to happen today I've learned my lesson guys I am also going to be using this piece of driftwood as a planter. It's hollow inside. I love to use driftwood in my garden, you see, guys. It's the perfect, perfect way to bring an aspect of the ocean into your garden. And I'm going to be needing my hammer. I don't want to wet it because if I wet it, it might become too soft and then the steel will not hold firmly enough to support the drift too. Okay. I want to put some gravel right there. And I'm now going to be bringing in some other items inside the empire. Guys, I'm excited about this, you see, because I have some really, really cool planters to show you this evening. Yes. Right. 
this is one of my unique planters this is an old coal stove that I repurposed into a plant stand and I'm going to be putting it or placing it inside this section of the empire but I have to secure the legs of the stand because I don't want it to blow over Won't want it toppling over at all. There is a stone here. Guys, you have to be strong like me, you know. You have to be strong like me to do this. Right, so and then I'm going to be placing the cool stove inside of it. Here you go. This is another stand. This is a, it was a jar, clay jar, but somehow it got broken. And you know me already, I don't throw away garbage. I repurpose and I make use of everything. So I'm also going to be incorporating this inside the empire. All right. I'm going to be spreading the gravel now because I prefer to do it before I do the boundary or the border because I don't want to put in the border and then when I'm spreading the gravel, you know what happened, me lick over the brick then. All right, and these are the bricks that I'm going to be using today, the double keystone. Those are what I'm going to be using as the border for the empire. But I'm now going to spread the gravel. Before we go further, you know, spread the gravel. I think I need to secure that planter to the back as well just simply make three holes If you're not strong enough, guys, you can't do this. Eh? So you have to be strong. You have to have as much strength as I do. We get these out of the way. There you go. Guys. I just have to ensure that all the areas are covered. are two planters that I had them elsewhere in the garden and I just thought I'd incorporate them inside the empire so I repainted them gave them a fresh coat of paint and brought them in here and I'm using these six inch blocks as the pedestal for them I 
a little stool quite handy and convenient and easy to take around very very light no weight at all Is it not easy enough? Right now I'm tired. But it's gonna be worth it. No guys. And I'm now going to be putting in the border and using my little my sheet. I'm gonna ask my cameraman to just go around the other side so that you guys can get a clear picture of what I'm doing. I'm not going to be digging it too deep but you know you have to in order to ensure in order to ensure that the bricks don't tumble down again like the walls of Jericho you have to secure them so this is just a little trench that I'm digging here I know you guys love when I do project from scratch, you know. You enjoy when I show you every single detail. That's what I love about you, you know. My precious family. You just love when I show you all the details from scratch. And nothing is wrong with that. Because we all want to learn how to do things. And to get ideas from each other. Right? Guys, when I say the epidem, if I ever tell you how much time I kill them epi, you no cry shame at me. But if you know me, or you should know me if you have been watching, following my channel, and watching my videos, that I don't give up easily. When it comes to my orchids, precious blooms is very persistent when it comes to growing our orchids. Have to hurry guys, because it's getting late. Night comes early. And what I did was to saturate the soil prior to the video, in the essence of time.
and there's no particular shape for the empire. It might look like a circle, not a perfect circle, but I'm putting in the border in accordance with the space that I have to work with. This place is filled with stones, guys. Is there another one? Wow, this one is huge. You might be wondering why I'm not wearing gloves, but I wouldn't reach out. I would not have gotten this far had I been wearing gloves because gloves, they cause me to feel clumsy. I can't use my hand properly or as quickly. So I love to use my bare hands. And guess what? I love to connect with, with nature, you know, guys. Love to connect with nature. So I love to use my bare hands. So that's another reason why as well. here people but I'm used to ant bites not strange for me to come in contact with them in my garden section has now been completed Let's put some grass up. going to quickly complete the back section of the empire because time is of the essence I have to be quick seems as if we're gonna be needing some more bricks And I use the gravel inside the bed as the flooring because you don't want when it whenever it rains or if you're watering 
the earth will mess up the planters so it's best to use gravel so your planters will remain clean and nice so you don't want every time you water you have to be wiping them off or wiping dirt from them so that's the main reason why i'm using the gravel but it looks nice inside the empire that section needs some bricks but i can always do that at another time all right guys so the border is like 95 percent 98 percent complete just need two more bricks for that section all right so i'm going to be putting in some more stands this is another one i think i'm going to be placing it right here let me use this section as the front. doesn't really matter all right and i think it's time for me to start bringing in some planters for the stands and the first one i'm going to be bringing in it's a uh, planter that I created. Well, guys, you know, everything is on YouTube. It's all out there. All of the ideas. You can create your own ideas. If you don't have no idea if you create on your own, you can always go on YouTube or you can watch Precious Blooms to get ideas for your garden. So, coming up right now, I'm going And this piece of driftwood is going to be used as a stand for this jeans planter. I guess some of you guys might have a planter like this in your garden because it's quite common. But I just thought I'd make one for the entire. so this is the stand for the jeans planter and I'm going to be elevating the feet because you know you don't want to have the feet in one that position for a long time guys if you want to see how I made this planter you can always let me know in the comment section and i can do a separate video showing you how i created it so and i'm putting a little saucer in there to hold some of the water and this this is a pair of water boot that was thrown down in my garden i had it just thrown down there it belonged to my brother and I had it here not doing anything in my garden and I decided to use it as the boots for the plant and so I took it up and I washed it clean as a whistle so this is guys it's the first time I'm making this you know first in my life so this is like a trial and error right there you go and of course who wear them jeans without a belt want to give yourself that nice shape not true so we all wear a belt to keep up our trousers and to give us shape so this planter is going to be no different and look at this the belt even matches with the clay pot quite nice I never even realized that. I just thought I'd use a cloth belt rather than a leather belt because you know the leather belt is going to decompose quite quickly but the cloth will last much longer. So here it is and guys guess what? 
people might come here, you know, and say, but look at the half a man in a precious blooms garden. And then the next thing you know, the authorities them come and want to interrogate me and ask me, where is the rest of the body? So guess what? You know, I thought about it and I said then, where am I going to get a torso? You know, let us go into biology. This is the lower extremity from the waist down to the ankle here. And the more I thought about it, I said, no, but I need a torso, which is going to be the trunk. And so I did my research and it took me a while to finally decide how I'm going to make a torso. Stay tuned. I'm coming with my torso. This is a blouse that I used cement to make and to trans, that's no, what should I say? Repurpose the blouse into a planter. Right now my brain is tired from all that digging. So I use a blouse, you don't believe me that it's a blouse. See the tag here, see it here? It's a blouse, I can't even tell her the size. Yes, it's a blouse. And as I said before, if you want me to show you how I make these planters, just leave me a comment. Let me know in the comment section and I can always do a separate video showing you how I made them. So I'm going to be resting it right here. Ain't that cute? So I made it. Guys, the first time I make it, it couldn't, I mean, it basically couldn't work. I made an error and not going to tell you what it is because if you need me to tell you or to show you, request me to do a separate video i'll always do that for you because right now it's going to take up too much time to tell you give you all the details but i tried a second time and it came out perfect and i painted it so this is going to be the torso and as you know the torso is just the trunk of the body biology again it don't don't come with no limb the the, the hand and the fingers right but it don't need the hand and the fingers because we know that in society there are persons without limbs who are quite fine and it's not a crime for you to have no limbs so this planter will not have any limbs today but then again guys where is the head next thing the authorities the will come and say yes you have the torso you have the lower extremity but where is the head is this a headless body stay tuned guys Guys, if you ever know how long I've been putting this video together and when I thought about the head, I said, what am I, who am I going to make a head to complete this body? Because as I said, I don't want the authorities to come interrogating me and ask me for the parts, them for the people, them body. And so I thought about using this clay planter and I said, but it needs some hair. That's H-A-I-R. And I said, what am I going to be, be using as the hair? And then I thought about using a plant like the spider plant, a plant that cascade to mimic the hair. But then I said, no, this is an epidendrum empire. I want nothing but epidendrum inside this empire. And so I remember that I have a little rag doll inside. And so I went in for it and I borrowed some of the hair from the rag doll and i secured it onto the planter but before i put on the hair guys me never know me could have been so good uno look on the mouth precious blooms sit down and put the planter in our lap and put on this cute these cute lips onto the planter look at it and then i used a shell for the nose and i said oh my gosh this is perfect look at it rather than putting eyes on it i'm giving it some shades because it's going to be out in the sun all day you know guys so look at this now wow this is like perfect look at this let me show it to you look at this this is like perfect so this is another planter that i created for my epidendrum empire
but I will have to elevate the plant that I'm going to be putting inside the torso and so this is what I'm doing right now I'm placing half a half piece of lock and two bricks inside and it fits perfectly inside that is so nice guys I think I'm going to name this person I think I'm going to name this person Pearl because Pearl is a rare gem Pearl is admirable Pearl is nice Pearl is precious right okay so we're gonna be calling her Pearl all right so I think I have another all right what I should say really is if I'm going to put Pearl inside the Empire don't you think Pearl is going to be needing some entertainment because I wouldn't want to be sitting one place all day long 24 7 without entertainment so I'm going to give Pearl some entertainment I'll be right back at this guys a sony triniton tv for pearl to watch so she does not get bored look at that and i use two six inch blocks as this can and guys you see out here in the garden the internet does not pick up out here so i'm going to have to give pearl cable box so she can watch cable so ensure that i set it the correct way and this is the remote for pearl to watch whatever channel she chooses to watch if she wants to watch precious blooms or she want to go on pinterest to get ideas for how to dress up precious blooms garden the choice is hers but this is her cable box and her sony triniton tv coming right back look at this guys radio cassette recorder if you were born in my time, you would have remembered this. We used to use it and we used to sing and record with voice, you remember? So, if Pearl is not in the mood to watch TV, she can always tune in and listen to some radio or play her cassette. Don't have a cassette right now, but as soon as I get one, I'm certainly going to put it inside the recorder here so that Pearl can listen to some nice music. So, I am going to be resting it. I think I'll be resting it right at her feet. Yes. And I tell you, you guys. You see them two creatures here? These are going to be baits for the slug. You see any slug coming on my empire? See them here? The exterminators. I'm going to be putting them in these two block holes. Any slug come inside Precious Bloom's empire, they'll be devoured by these two frogs. I'm going to start bringing in the, the epidem drums now. Guys, that was a lizard. And if you notice, this epi is potted inside a pot. And it's quite a huge pot. Every one of my supporters can get something from this pot and i'm going to be placing the pot inside the coal stove isn't that cute so the pot is on the coal stove and it's cooking no fire of course because you know that's a no-no but it's a slow cooker so that's my epidendrum i think this is a regular orange color bloom
and for the jeans planter I'm going to be putting in this epi it's a guys when I tell you that I kill epi I mean back in the days when I just discovered epi Betty Stevenson Ashley I can't stop calling Miss Betty's name when I got to Miss Betty's garden and I see her epis I was in awe and I would come home with all the colors don't know what happened over the years back in those days I was a novice not that I'm an expert expert no but I've learned from my mistakes and so I'm finally growing them all over again and they are not looking too badly now which is why I decided to build this empire and to have them sitting in a special area in my garden because I love when they are together you see when they are in bloom wow they make a statement this one now is for the torso and I'm just going to rest it right inside the torso look at that this is so unique Anybody is missing a blouse, you can claim it again. And this is the one here I'm going to be putting it inside the head. It sits nicely. Guys, it's getting late. I need to hurry. Now this is a teddy that I made from made using cement. Uh, it's a stuffed was a stuffed toy, and I use cement to create an ornament, and it will be sitting right on top of the cable box. going to be bringing in some epis for the planter boxes just rest them inside there look at the spike on this one guys i think this one is an orange color but I'll certainly share the blooms with you. And this one needs some support. another epi during the day this area gets filtered sunlight so it's not all sunny You know the epis them grow finicky they're very untidy and I just leave them be because when they're in blooms the blooms are all over the place and to me it looks nice This is another one. This one is in spike.
this one I'm going to be resting in here I think I'm going to bring this a little bit closer This one I'm going to rest inside the driftwood. Sitting quite nicely inside the driftwood. Guys, look at this monster. Look at the height of it. It's a beautiful yellow. Beautiful, beautiful yellow. I tell you, I'm quite pleased with myself because the other day I hardly had any epi in my collection and I started growing them all over again I have another pot that I may have to remove this you see guys me never draw any plan, you know. Never had any plan of how I was going to do this empire. You understand me? So please bear with me. I feel all it guys, it's getting late. They are all in spike. I mean, I can't imagine when all these spikes are in bloom. Oh, my empire is going to be colorful. So let me just replace this, the torso. And it's beautiful. Okay. Wow. Guys. If you are loving my empire, please give this video a thumbs up right now. I'm sure you are enjoying the video. If you have made it this far, you are enjoying the video. So I'm going to ask that you give it a thumbs up. Thank you. So guys, this is an antique phone that I'm going to be placing inside the empire just in case Pearl needs to make a call to Precious Blooms or to any one of you guys, my supporters. You know, I was thinking about giving her a Nokia. You remember the little Nokia phone when we just started out with cell phone? But then I said to myself, I'm going to have to have money to put credit on Pearl's cell phone. So I ruled that out and I said, I'm going to give her this antique phone. Hello, hello. Look at it, guys. 
So I'm going to be placing it inside the empire for pearls so she can make her calls if she needs to. And I have a kitty here. I'm going to be placing this kitty right here. Guys, you see this frog? This is the mother of all frogs. You notice a piece of her mouth is gone. I had her in Pat's van the bed. And it seems she got into a tangle with the slugs one night. And this look bite off piece of her mouth. So right now she's on a war part because she says she have to find that slug. And any slug that come her way, them are go dead. Cause she make sure say she take revenge for every slug for her piece of mouth with them take off. So I have two here, and I think I'm going to be placing her right here beside the torso. Everybody needs a little friend, you know. Everybody needs a little companion. So right now, I'm going to be giving Pearl a companion so they can watch TV together. You see this little girl? I've had her from 2007. And she was always sitting at my pond, you know, with her little friend. But she said all oh, from 2007 till now, all in catch her one fish. And she want a fish for herself. And from 2007 to now, and in don't catch another fish, she's tired of waiting on the fish. So she says she wants to be relocated in my garden. So I decided that I'm going to incorporate her into the Epidemdrum Empire and as a companion for Pearl. So here you go. Don't have no name for her. Leave me a comment. Let me know what name you want me to call her because I don't have a name for her. And last but not least, I'm going to be using these shells. Here. Guys, I love to use things from the sea, you see. I just love to use seashells and driftwoods. Right? And you know, Pearl might need to get up. She might need to walk around in the garden. So I'm giving her a little walking stick. Again, another piece of driftwood. And I painted the tip of it, you know, to preserve it. So I'm resting it right between her legs. Just in case she needs to get up, she has her walking stick for support. And I'm going to be putting this piece of driftwood around the back here. And as always, you know, I love to make my signs, you know. So, this one says, I hope I'm not hurting my epi. Good. Let me see if it reads well from this angle. My Epi Empire. It's sort of hiding, but I can shift Pearl a bit. Yes. And again, this is a piece of driftwood that I painted and made a sign. My Epi Empire. Alrighty. 
and this palm I'm going to be putting this palm on this stand right here because here is a little passage to go inside the garden guys look at this this is what the neighbors go did to my beautiful palm left my gate open one evening and the goat saw it fit to come inside and to take a tour of precious blooms but of course they did quite a bit of damage to my plants while they were on a tour of my garden let me just I think this is it guys so this is my epidendrum empire lots of interesting and unique planters I sure hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and also please remember to share this video with your loved ones and your friends and leave me a comment let me know if you like my empire let me know how you grow your epidendrum orchids this is it thanks for watching until next time stay precious and see you again in my next video